Hey guys, I thought we'd have like a little bestie day together, you know, just a real nice, not even a day, just a few hours. Um, I thought we'd go shopping together, we'd go get a coffee, we'd sit, we'd chat. I just, I just feel like my channel just needs a little video like this. Because the only things I'm living filming at the minute are hauls and vlogs. So I'm like, let's just combine the two and I'll bring you shopping with me. So... We're just gonna have a look around, see what's in the shops. I mean, there's not many shops by me. Um, there's only H&M and Primark, so we haven't got money to look into, but then I thought we'd grab a coffee and we'd sit and chat. So yeah, I'm just driving there now. Um, and I will speak to you when we get to the shops. I think we'll go to, we'll go to H&M first and then we'll go to Primark. Cause Primark have for the longest time, like majority of the year, hasn't been great so fingers crossed <laughs> fingers crossed it's um better but we shall see i'll see you guys very very shortly i'm gonna start in h&m um because i think that's what's gonna be the best out of the two so let's go i am in next i've got all their autumn things look at this i'm guessing it's a yeah a little diffuser little pumpkin that is so so cute i thought it was gonna be really uh, busy because it's summer holidays but it's so quiet I mean unless everyone's on holiday but it's what I love to see straight away I love I don't need a vest up but if you did um, they have these really nice ones I like ribbed kind of just like fitted regular length vest tops 9 99 they do them in black as well it's so autumnal but I do kind of love it I think this will be so nice with some jeans guys look at this section look at these joggers Oh my goodness, the colour in person is so much nicer as well, they do them in loads of different colours. How nice, $18.99. I've got a few things to try on, I found these jeans, love. Um, how nice is this sweatshirt, it's like wide. Had to try on these joggers, I got them in an XS rather than an XXS just so they're a little bit more oversized and then just this long sleeve grey mile little top which I will definitely be getting my wear out of if it fits nice <laughs> each other's playlists no no you used to be I these. <laughs> each other's best friends yeah and now we go our separate pathways but your heart I, I like this one as much still in my I love these I'm glad I picked up um, the excess as well I don't think you can tell the colour on camera. I'm just going to go for the grey top because, you know, I said I wasn't going to buy anything, but I've got makeup on this, so, you know, I probably should buy it. It's not that I, you know, it's not like I really, 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 really want it. Yeah, we're going for this. Just this, though. The stripes are back. I, I love stripes as well. I mean, I don't think I'd wear that, but stripes are back. Primark home is actually so nice. I don't want to be on the autumn hype yet, but look at this blanket. <gasps> oh, I want it so bad. It's so, it looks so nice in our living room. Although I do try and add a pop of colour by blankets. It's as if it just heard what I said. <sighs> look at that one. It's got colour in it. Oh my God, they're so nice. Just put these leggings, they're like, oh no, I thought they were going to be like gym leggings. They are cotton, they're only five pounds though. And they do feel like pretty good, decent quality. It has definitely gotten better. I love the colour of that trench, but I have one really similar from Topshop ASOS, I think. I also really want to be a cardigan girl, buy them every year, but then never seem to wear them. But this one is really, really nice. It's not great in here, but I've just spotted these and they're so, so nice. I really like the grey one. I love stripes, but I also really like the grey one. And £15 isn't awful. Like, the quality is, like, nice and soft. 
I've just found this one as well. I really like this one. This is the one we just saw. And then there's like this one. It's just a little bit more striped. It's got pockets. And it's more of like a knitted material. This is so cute. But I'd buy it and never wear it. I just know it. Primark before it's awful. Like it has been for ages. Uh, so let's go get coffee and go chat. So um, I picked for Greg's. I've just literally had a cheese and onion pasty. But I picked for Greg's rather than Starbucks. Because I actually really like Greg's coffee. Um... Where is my phone? Here. I asked for some questions on Instagram, although my camera doesn't have that much charge at all. So, do we drive home and then do this? We'll start it. We'll see how the camera battery lasts and we might end up going home. This is giving like autumn vibes, guys. It is great. It's raining and we're sat in a nice warm car. I've got a coffee. How did you and Dan meet? Um, I hate our meeting story. I just, um, I added him on Snapchat. Guys, it was 2018. Don't judge. Don't judge. <laughs> I added him on Snapchat and then he followed me on Instagram and then he slid into the DMs. I used to think it was me that slid into the DMs, but it was him. What would you say is too early to move out together in a relationship? Oh, that is a very, very good question. I think you'll just know. So for me and Dan, obviously we'd spent lockdown together in his bedroom and we literally both worked from his bedroom looking back now i don't know how how we did it like he i remember having to stop youtube videos like i'll be in the middle of talking i'd have to stop because he'd be getting a call come through he used to get so many calls and then i'd have to wait and then sometimes these calls could go on for ages um i guess he he could have gone into a different room but then everyone it was locked down like his brothers were in his their bedrooms like obviously his parents um were downstairs like we just we just did it didn't we and um it's obviously from doing that we just knew we were like yeah we can definitely live together um and we both knew and i had this like almost anxiety that i didn't want to go back home sorry dad like i just knew i wanted to live with him then i was like dad i can't go back to normal of like seeing each other three times a week like i want to live i wanted to live together now and he felt the same well at least he tells me he felt the same he might not have um so then we just kind of knew so yeah i think it's just a thing where you just know that you're ready someone said it to me at work years ago like a penny will just drop and you'll know and i think that is so true oh, i didn't really answer the question so when would you say so i don't yeah don't set a time on it i just think when you feel ready who's winning the world cup england or japan england i get so many questions if me and don would ever get a pet i've always said no but we really got to talk about dogs the other day um i think it's because my brother's got a dog we are in fact back home because the camera it did run out oh, no. oh here's my phone so it just come home i've just took a headband because my hand was annoying me but i'm now gonna answer the questions because we have a new battery and i'm just sat with a blanket honestly this is an electric blanket they are the best things ever because i'm always cold even though it's july no it's not it's august <laughs> okay so the question was on the dog so we've always said no um and my reason behind it, I don't know if I've ever spoke about this, when I was little, I grew up in a household full of pets. And you'd probably think that'd make me want pets, but guinea pigs, hamsters, cats, dogs, fish, rats, like honestly, every animal. And I was always, always ill. And then I'd go to my dad's every weekend, I'd get better, go home, he'd come pick me up, I'd be ill again. So I don't think I was to the extent allergic, but I just think all the hairs weren't good for me. And I don't know, I just remember all my clothes like smelling and I don't know. Obviously just having one dog would be completely different. And me and Dan did weirdly have a chat about it. Um, we were sat at a park and we saw a dog and we were like, oh my God, that's so cute. If we had a dog, what would we call it? And then we were kind of like, oh, cute, but we're very selfish in the facts where we would just want to go up and go on weekends. Like we love going to watch the football weekends where like London going to watch football games or like Liverpool or whatever. Um, so... For that reason we wouldn't just because we're we're selfish people in the sense we just we just want to go out on the weekends and yes you can do that with a dog but i just feel so guilty same reason why we don't want a, ch a child at the minute you know it's exactly the same reason so maybe in the future i'm never going to say never but right now it's definitely not in our plans best advice for keeping a good and healthy relationship i think honesty just i told Dan like everything one thing i cannot do is lie to dan even over the simplest things like 
if I said I wasn't buying a t-shirt and then I went out and bought a t-shirt, I'd have to show down the t-shirt and show them the t-shirt. I couldn't say, oh no, I didn't buy anything. Like, I know that sounds silly, but it, that's what it is. Like, even the silliest little things, like, just being truth, tr truthful. Um, so, I don't, and communication, laughter. I think a friendship, like I've always said it, like me and Dan, relationship is, relationship is either, like best mates. Like, we, as people, just get on so well. Like, we have a joke, have a laugh. And I think that's such a strong thing about, like, the strong point about relationship. Um, and doing things, actually, that's a big one because you can easily get stuck in a rut. This time last year, I was in the biggest rut ever. I can't remember how much I spoke about it on YouTube. I don't like to think about this time last year. It was not a great time. Um, and I was in the biggest rut I think I've ever been in. I was not happy. Um, and the bottom line is, I wasn't doing anything. I was just inside all day, every day. Me and Dan weren't doing anything. We weren't getting out doing things together. And that really affects a relationship. And it, you don't even need to have money. Just, it, honestly, the smallest thing, like, me and Dan going out and going on a walk together, just getting out the house. Like, Dan now doesn't work from home. He works from home twice a week. And those days he works from home oh my god we get on each other's nerves so bad especially if we're not going out after he finishes work when he works from home now like we try and get out at like half or even if it's just going on a walk or a drive or going to get a mcflurry or going to the girlfriend doesn't matter what we do we just try and get out um because tension builds when you are just stuck on top of each other all day every day so getting out and enjoying yourselves like i say even if it's just going on a walk makes a big difference will you be moving house anytime soon mm -mm. Um, my brother's actually just moved house and the night before we went to see it I had a dream that our house went up for sale and I woke up and wanted to cry and it made me think like I cannot move house whatever <laughs> like the thought of me selling this house Dan actually brought it up in conversation the other day um, <laughs> threw me off a bit he was like um, he was on right move and he was like so what area should we live in next and I was like whoa I don't want to move and he's like no I don't I'm just like curious at looking at houses both did also say that I think the time we do come to eventually move um, it will be a spontaneous decision we're quite spontaneous people I think it would just be one day we'll have a conversation and we'll be like yeah cool let's put the house up for sale do you know what I mean? One thing I've always said, I don't have plans to life anymore. What will be, what will be, what happens, happens. I've honestly stopped having a plan. And I'm I'm actually really happy, so maybe it works. Dream collab. Honestly, guys, it would have to be something football. Like, it'd have to be something, fo not me playing football, but it'd have to be like me doing something with women's football that's like honestly the dream <laughs> that'd be my dream collab um i'm sorry to not say plt or something like that this girl has changed everyone's asking about holidays we've got no holidays planned non-booked be honest can't really afford a holiday right now but i'm fine with that we've i've been to mexico and dubai this year and that's like fulfilled me i mean i was hoping we was going to get a better summer but yeah no holidays planned i can't see us going on one again this year any plans to create any content with any of the youtubers uh no i've never been one to mingle with youtubers probably should <laughs> but i just like keeping myself to myself um you guys will probably notice by now i'm not one of these youtube i don't like using the word influencer that does all the events like I just can't it scares me I'm like ah oh. my manager will give me the number and I'll be like oh I'll just stay at home tonight thank you though I should and I should put myself out there more but I do just like staying in my little bubble and keeping myself to myself how to feel content in where you are in life and not feel the pressure where we should be this is a big thing and get yourself a cup of tea because this is actually something I want to talk about I like this comment a lot but opening up the honesty book here the honesty book has been opened so this time last year it was like the start it this was like the starting point this time last year i had just come off the pill so i think that plays a big factor but i kind of like went like this and i was not happy i came off the pill <laughs> i think i've spoken about this i came off the pill because i had no emotion i was like damn i haven't cried in like three years i don't think the pill was good for me i'm gonna come off it for about three weeks two three weeks i cried every single night in the shower every time i got in the shower just cried just wasn't happy and i do think the pill was a big factor in it but the other reason i felt so lost 
so lost and I think it was me finding myself again after coming off the pill because I honestly think the pill just made me like this this soulless person I think my soul was just slowly coming back into me but the big factor was it's like I don't want to do what normal people my age are doing now um I don't want to get married I don't want to have kids and it really threw me off because I'm like yeah but that's what I should be doing that's what people my age are doing no honestly no and one thing I think I, I spoke about this on a TikTok the other day but if you look at yourself five years ago and look at where you are now like if I look at five year not five year old me five years ago if I was to like have a glance at my like a glimpse at my life right now I would be so happy looking at it I'd be like oh my god you did it everything I wanted to do five years ago you've done it and you sometimes just have to take a step back to realize it might not feel like I've done a lot but I've got everything I would have wanted five years ago so be grateful for that and this is the same thing as me like not having a plan this is where it falls into as well I think we've just got to live each day as it comes I have completely scrapped what I'm doing I don't even know what I'm doing next week let alone what my five-year plan is don't have a five-year plan like someone asked me when I'm moving not sure it'll happen when it happens and I honestly guys I cannot tell you how happy I felt since not having these plans anymore because I think we just put so much pressure on ourselves to be doing this, doing that, being the best person, being the best version of ourselves. I mean, I, I can't talk for everyone's situation, okay? I can't talk for everyone's situation, but for me personally, like, I was rushing, like, do this, do that, do this, do that. So I think that's how I feel content. And it's just not having a plan. Being grateful for little things. I'm very lucky where my best friend is exactly the same as me. Like, we'll go on a walk and we'll be like, oh, so grateful for life. Look at us just going on this nice walk, having freedom, having life. Like we're very much those type of people. And I think having people in your life like that as well makes you feel grateful. Um, but yeah, just live day by day and scrap the plans. Honestly, scrap the plans. They're good for some people, but I found for me, it was just, I was putting way too much pressure on myself. Do you miss living at home? No, I actually don't, but I'd like to see how I would have felt if lockdown didn't happen because I moved out like 18 months before I actually did because I lived with my boyfriend in lockdown. So I think that definitely made moving out easier. Don't get me wrong, I remember hugging my dad goodbye, like getting the last of my stuff in my car. And I was, <laughs> Dan was, so Dan had like packed up his car with my stuff and I had my car packed up with my stuff. And Dan got to the traffic lights, we were like next to each other and he looked at me in the car and I was just like sobbing. <laughs> he was like I didn't know what to do and I was just like sobbing. So that hurt, but I, as soon as I stepped in here like it felt like home and I've not looked back ever since. So someone's asked where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I don't have goals. This girl has big goals right now, but baby steps. Just we're on a step and starting system right now, just day by day, day by day. What do you find the hardest with your job? What are the cons to it? Um, I think the hardest thing, I never like to say the hard, because every day I feel grateful for falling into what I do. Um, but I think the hard, I think it's the same in any job, it's the unknown. I'm sure anyone else that is self-employed can have done, but I think the hardest thing is just the unknown. But maybe right now I'm living for the unknown. <laughs> or do you plan on doing YouTube forever? This is, this is a question. This is a question. Um, do you know what? I would in this Q&A, if I did this Q&A this time last year, I'd say absolutely. I cannot wait to be doing this when I'm like 40 and I've got kids, da 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 da. The honest answer now is no. Because I don't think YouTube's gonna be around forever now. Um, don't get me wrong, I think I'll always be doing some form of social media, but definitely not YouTube forever. Um, like I say, I've got my own goals. I've also figured that out in the past year that there's a lot more now than YouTube I just want to do. How do I, how do I put this? So this time, like, this time like 18 months ago, I would have thought by now I'd be ready to settle down, get married, have kids, and i document that on YouTube and it would all be so perfect. But in the past year i've realized there's a lot more out there than just youtube and do not get me wrong i am forever grateful for doing this and like i say if i could do this forever i would but i'm realizing there's a lot more out there and there's a lot more in me as a person i don't feel fulfilled i do not feel fulfilled before this 
Um, I had a part-time job at Dorothy Perkins, which I, I actually miss it so much. I dream, I dream about that place more than I probably should at night. Um, but I just feel like I haven't fulfilled myself. And there's a lot more out there I want to do, which is why now I've kind of like not scrapped the ideas of having kids. Of course, in the future, I want nothing more than to have my own family. But right now, I'm not ready because there's so much out there that I've realised I wanted to want to do. So for that reason, I don't think I'll be doing YouTube forever. But I think I'll be doing some form of social media forever. Does that kind of make sense? Potentially. I don't think it did, did it? And I feel like I've been talking for so long, so I'm gonna stop talking. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this morning together. I just wanted to, I don't know. I don't wanna call it spend the morning with me because it definitely wasn't a morning routine, but I just wanted us to kind of just like have a bestie day. Kind of how, I wanted to treat this video my perfect morning of with like if I was my best friend like going shopping together looking around the shops getting a coffee having a chat like I just really wanted to have that kind of feel on this video but I don't know if it worked but I hope you enjoyed it anyway thank you so much for watching uh, like honestly I say that at the end of every video but genuinely thank you for watching I mean that um and for supporting me because I've been here a long time now a very long time so if you're still watching me, I very much so appreciate it, but thank you, and I'll see you all very soon for another video. Goodbye, guys.